short-lived acting career where he really just appeared in Jungle Book as Mowgli's best friend that uh, <laughs> Bagheera would go on to, to invent his signature. own range of guitar amplifiers. Oh, no. I mean, what a crazy world we Holy live in. Holy, um, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> this is the Bagheera signature. <laughs> Which yeah, one absolutely. is that? Is that the, no, the Bears he Baloo? He was the Panther. He was the Black Panther. If I That's say short-lived uh, acting career, of course, he went on to be a Marvel superhero as well. So, Bugera, we have um, talked about their amps in the past, been mm. largely blown away by the value. It's insane, isn't it? Always. Uh, it's basically, um, if you're not familiar with Bugera amplifiers, you're probably familiar with the sort of the parent company, which is Behringer. Um, absolute trailblazing brand in the Far East for just sort of driving down the cost of manufacturing products, cutting out as many middlemen as possible and just getting the best product for the lowest price to the end user as they possibly yeah. can. Which is you. And that's why yes. you should like and subscribe because then you won't miss any <laughs> stuff like this. And so but yeah, Bugera goes. is what they call their valve amp range. Um, and um, our biggest problem at Anderton's has been just you know, bringing enough in to, to keep up with yeah. how many you guys want to buy. Yeah. And, and also, I think convincing people that actually, well, for the true. money, is absolutely crazy value. Yeah. I th personally, I think. Yeah. You know. So, there will be other videos on this channel where we've looked at other amps in the Bagheera range, but this is the first time we've had the T series. T for Terminator. Probably. T for Total Amazing. Uh, yeah, totally amazing. <laughs> totally amazing. Uh, there's two amps in the range T5 over here and T50. Over what does that here. mean, Lee, when you sort of, when you said T5 and T50? What does that yeah, mean? What's what does a T, that stand T5? for? T5. So it's a, it's a place where aeroplanes land at Heathrow Airport. <laughs> um, no, T5 <laughs> is the 5 watt uh, single channel version. T50 is the 50 watt two channel version. There's quite a lot of other features on them as well, which we'll go over. And what we're doing, bizarrely, um, Although there are still some Bugera uh, cabinets on the Bugera website, uh, we've been told by Bugera that they're no longer making them, so we don't have any Bugera cabs. Maybe there'll be some new ones in the future, I don't yeah. know. So today, you are hearing both these amplifiers, and I'm using this switching box to switch, um, into a Laney Cub 2x12. And yeah. th that's a, like a really affordable amplifier from Laney. Yeah, uh, with the 112 mic up, just to mention that. Right. So, yeah. Okay, but, so... You know, anyway. Anyway. There we are. So if you obviously, again, if you're completely novice, uh, there's no speakers in here. This is an amplifier only that you then have to drive and mm -hmm. run into a speaker. Yeah. So we'll start with the T5 spec. It is a uh, single valve class A EL84 in the power section, giving five watts power uh, of power, valve power. It has a 12AX7 in the preamp section. It has a single channel with a fat control, and you know it's going to be fat when it gets spelt P-H-A-T. <laughs> um, it's got reverb. It's got reverb built in, it's a little digital reverb chip built in. 
and, and an attenuator built in as yeah. well. So you can run it from its full five watts. I can't read that. It's too dark to, and I'm too blind. Yeah, I'll have to look. I will check in a minute, but yeah. really, really 4. low. 4.5 watts or something. Um, and it sounds and it's, great. And it's got the biggest handle and the biggest logo you'll find on any yeah, no, small launch Honestly, like that. it sounds great. Yeah. What's the switch on the back for, Mr. The, Pete? Not the, the switch, switch, sorry, the, no, the socket is, on uh, the back. That is headphone socket out. No way. Yes way. You don't normally get headphones now. I'm. Well, let's turn it around here because that's very simple. Is that Look, easier that. to do? Yeah, You're there you probably go. right. Well done, Miss. Oh, f. My chair folded up a little. <laughs> 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 I went right up your butthole. Um, uh, yeah, so you look around the back here, you've got output watts of 0.1 watts, uh, 1 watt, and uh, it's got the tube life. And 5 watts. Infinium yeah, tube yeah, life monitoring. I'm not even going to try and explain the science behind this, but Behringer have this patented thing called Infinium. Uh, and it's <laughs> the idea is that it's a little um, circuit that monitors like the health of your yeah. valves. Yeah. And as it begins to see valves... Um, changing over time, sort of like wearing out, it will alter the signal going to the valves yeah. to uh, prolong their life and also not make you, you know, almost like compensate, if you like, for a valve kind of yeah. beginning to it's wear out. Clever. They, they mean, claim it might it increase the life of your valves by yeah. 20 times. Yeah, well, there you go. So that and means instead also... of it being two minutes, it's now 40 yeah, minutes. Now. Exactly. <laughs> it's also uh, the stones that uh, Thanos has got in his glove, but inside the glove's got this cover that's called Infinium as well. Um, so many Marvel references in this video. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but, so spin it back so around again spin then. Spin it back around. And we'll start in its 5 watt mode. Pete's got an affordable pedal board. Um, yeah. But let's leave all the pedals switched off for the time being yeah. and give someone an idea of... Uh, we've got a treble and bass control and the reverb, so here's our clean tone. With this uh, Squire uh, Oh, T hang on. We better use the actual amp, yeah. haven't we? Yes, here's its clean tone. Squire, uh, thin line. Links below for that. Reverb, maybe? That's a really nice home use volume level there, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, I mean, it's not loud. But... You know what I've not mentioned yet? We're bigging these up humongously. Um, I haven't told you how much they are. No. And the comedy factor behind this was that uh, previously Pete was putting a little affordable pedal board together. Yeah. And he's like, do you think I can use this little tumless pedal like that? And I went, well, not really, because that tumless pedal is more expensive than this entire amplifier. <laughs> so this is £149 yeah. for the 5 watt one and £299 for the 50 watt one. Yeah. So nuts value. Yeah, that's Crazy nuts value. value. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so back to here. So yeah. let's uh, let's start to gain it a little bit. So if I drop the volume down and turn the gain up, but but not in the fat mode yet. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that, it sounds yep. great. And I, I, you could gain the EQ up a bit, that'll just sort of give it a bit more. It's just a little bit driven, it's not a lot yep. on it, but actually if you run it like this, with the gain all the way up and the volume, I know it sounds dreadful, <laughs> dreadful, dreadful to say this, but honestly and truthfully, I kind of feel if we just were doing one of these normal videos, I think most of you would just assume that Pete was still using his expensive amp rig. This, it does sound great, that. It's That's nuts. Not... What we're going to do is press the <laughs> what Pete was about three months ago button. <laughs> <laughs> PH fat. <laughs> So that's more gain. Yeah. 
can't believe how good this guitar is to play as well. <laughs> I, I can't, just put new strings on it. I can't believe how good that, that tone is. And that's no pedals. Now, where I think most people wow. will have a great fun with this little amplifier is, re, you know, relatively small cab. Don't go too small with the cabinet. You know, it's really what, important 12? that for, for bass and things like that, that you have a, an like a reasonable size 112 cabinet. We're using a 212. That's my personal favorite. Yes. But, you know, whatever. Don't. The ones I hate are like the little one by eights that are in a little box yeah, like that. Not anyway, right. um, so one of these little cab and then some affordable pedals and yeah. you know, Pete's got a yeah, couple so, of drives and a delay. Mm. I bet there's loads of good sounds in yeah, there. Yeah, so that's just a clean. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit more because mm -hmm. I like it when there's a bit of. I've turned the uh, fat switch yeah, off. You cool. could pop that back in if you wanted a bit of oh, the grunt. Bass. Loads of bass. Let's put on uh, the blues man from uh, Tone City. No, that lick. Uh, here's a here's a double. Now, uh, all the pe <laughs> those Tone City pedals, they're 40 quid each. So again, yeah. you know... You, 45 for the Durple, yeah. but yeah. Uh, well, look, I mean, but, shall hey, I just man. show the attenuation? Yeah, let's go down so, to 0 0.1, no pedals. It barely registers, does it? Yeah, you can probably hear that on the, the pedals. And then we got um, one. And then five. It's loud for five, isn't it? And we put the fat in. Can I just do something quickly? Do whatever you like. Oh, yes. We've got a guitar with humbuckers. Yeah, let's this try a, this. Uh, look at this. This is the Sire L7. You know, it's obviously their version of a, of a Les Paul kind of vibe guitar. But here we go. These are... Ultra kind of fizzle yeah, on yeah. the top, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. I don't know if you use maybe a take drive the game slide down. Yeah, take. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, and then put a just a. Game, can I, I, I honestly, I honestly feel like you know, I, I've been using the little Laney Super Cub as my affordable amp yeah. rig uh, in a lot of videos for the last year, maybe. Uh -huh. I honestly feel I could quite happily go more affordable than that if I really wanted to. I don't know that I'd sit and really this, be that disappointed no, playing no, through that amplifier. No, no, especially not when it's being, being recorded, you know, it's it's absolutely what a bit of a. Uh... Struggles a bit when it gets to everything but, on full whack. Yeah, right? so like, um, what But that's happen? because it's five watts, man. Uh, I mean, what yeah, do you expect? At, at five watts, the more you kind of drive it, use you know higher powered pickups. We we often talk about this thing called headroom, and yeah. what happens is is the amp reaches a point where it just it can't really it's cope no, anymore. No, and yeah. so what happens to a valve amplifier then is you get this kind of compressed, slightly dirty sort of not necessarily even an unpleasant sound, but no. it's not clean and sparkly anymore but and you, you would expect on a five watt amplifier for that to happen I 
feel I feel slightly what's the right word hypocritical and 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 prior to Anderton selling Bugera amplifiers I would honestly have just looked down my nose at the suggestion that we might stock 150 quid you know five watt amplifier because how it, surely it's got to be awful I've hasn't got it? nothing to say I know and I just sit there going what it's like there's just nothing wrong with nothing that wrong with sound. That. I mean, if you want, anyway, it's not a kicking amp. I would say five watts. You'd have to mic it up, wouldn't you? I yeah, think? you'd have to mic it up, and then mm. it might be okay. But as soon as the drummer starts kicking in with a yeah. couple of cymbals and well, stuff, that's a great a segue, bit. Pete. Yeah, because let's Absolutely. talk about this one. Oh, hey. So fifty watts. Uh, now the, the valve complement has got crikey, we got four twelve X sevens and two EL thirty fours. Holy smokes! And we got quite some quite sophisticated features for an amplifier so we have two uh unique channels so unique whereas on a lot of unique. amplifiers you've got two channels with a shared eq this has two channels with their own independent oh, yeah. eq on each side we've got an overall reverb tone and volume control wow uh on the back and it gets pretty clever here shall i spin it or shall i just tell you what's on no the back? spin it around spin it around i'm spinning, spinning around, around. Kylie Minogue in my way. Oosh, there's I've a lot of cables plugged in. Pants on, I feel okay. like that. Further, a bit further. So in line with this. I'll have to tip. Right. So here we go. On the back, mm -hmm. we have uh, the effects loop. That uh, so no effects loop on the little one. You've got an effects loop here. Foot switch, which comes with it. I've got to be honest with you. It's a slightly plasticky foot switch, but yeah, I it think like what the do you expect? One, it? Like but that. that'll do channel and reverb and comes with it. Yeah, a little bit like the boss one. Um, impedance selector and two speaker outputs. Uh, 50 watts is the output, maximum output. Emulated, emulated DI out. output yeah, with great. two settings. Uh, this will just be an analog emulation circuit, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold your hopes up of that being too incredible, but straight into a desk if you want to, and you yeah. can emulate a 112 or a 412. This is clever. Uh, you can elect for the amp to run in class A, B mode, which is where the two uh, valves work in like a push-pull way. That gives you the maximum mm -hmm. 50 watts. Or you can go for the more vintage class A mode um, and uh, you'll get slightly less headroom, but a different kind of perhaps a more, I don't know, Vox AC30 is a classic kind of class A mm. amplifier. So you might get a slightly different response from the power section, a little bit less volume. It does include the Infinium, um, you know, gloves that uh, whatever his Infinium, name was that wore. Infinium. Um, clean channel. Uh -huh. Same basic idea, you've got a gain control, the higher I turn this up, the more sort of preamp gain we're going to generate. Uh, treble, middle and bass control now, and then reverb, tone cut and volume over here. So let's get a nice high headroom kind of clean tone. It's cleaner, louder. Yes, so you've yeah. got... You have got that mean? more headroom yeah. rather than, the, uh, I think, again... What, not volume. He yes. It, it's like there is a big distinction between power wattage and volume. So 10 times the power does not equate to 10 times the volume. It equates to more headroom yeah. and therefore more volume, but not at that ratio. Clean, not more clean 10. volume. Yeah. So what you tend to find is that people who go for the big 100 watt amplifiers, you know, want that sort of, you know, big note definition and like the, the dynamic and all that kind of stuff. And what the lower that? the power you go, the, the faster it kind of compresses up and gets Getting a bit drive. dirty sounding. Mm. Anyway, this I would imagine is a perfectly happy gigging amplifier. So uh, if we sort of turn the gain up to like three o'clock. This is clean sound. We don't have the fat mode engaged, but with the, this is now gained up to, you know, where it's about yeah. three o'clock. Yeah. It's great. Oh, let me go from the back, pick yeah. up, see what happens. Yeah, that, that's we, the, we yeah. went over 100 dB oh, there. there you, go. Uh, you know, the minute I, you're I can see in that the, kind of territory, you're gigging. Even um, regaining it down on the uh, yeah. Apollos, it's still, um, it's not clipping, but it's... Nice clean sound. Yeah. Uh, what happens with the fat? Does the...
it's it, not it? adding as much gain no as the fat did on the, yeah. the fight. But I think that's that's the point because if you want gain, you just use the second channel. The fatness now on the T50 is just working almost like a loudness control. Yeah, it's like a low end. Just like a I, love, I love a loudness switch. Yes, on my well, car I, stereo. I never ever turned the loudness switch no. off. Um, <laughs> Where, where, funnily enough, I wonder if that is almost the point, that if you're using it at quite low volumes, because there's no attenuation on the back of this, you've just got to set the, yeah. the level you want yeah. from the volumes. I wonder if it just sounds better with the fat control in at low volumes. Let's have a little... It's very usable at home. That's... Yeah, you can talk over that. There you go. That's what it... Yeah, exactly. I think that's what it's for. Yeah. I think it just adds some extra yeah. low end down when you're using it I mean, it we can talk over this. No, come on, we can... Absolutely. Nuts. I mean, Pete and I have this conversation about attenuators all the time, which is if your objective is just to play quietly, just turn the amp down. You know, the only time yeah, you really yeah. need an attenuator is if you want the amp cranked to bejesus. And get the... And, yeah, and then you need to try and control that volume. But, yeah. if, but if you just need to play more quietly... To, if you've got you a just, master, just turn switch, the volume turn it down. down. Anyway, it? we digress. Uh, yes. Channel switch, here we go. Oh, oh yes, hello. On. criticism of that is I think it's a bit um, what's it called raspy but that yeah. might be the speakers no well we had the same if you remember on the the V series That's right. ones the, yes. the, the, the higher the gain built into the amplifier there yeah. was that little sort of I mean there's got to be some reason fizzly. why you know yeah. <laughs> other amps are four times as expensive as these exactly. um, yeah. but if you that was what I think we were getting better tones uh, on the other video that we yeah. did with these are using pedals, pedals to get those higher gain tones. Yeah. But let's let's let me just uh, we're trying diet yeah. coke here, so we were both burping. Yeah, we are. Aren't old we? burping men. Like we've been around Charlie Chocolate and the what was his name? The Charlie Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> that wasn't his Charlie name. Charlie Chocolate. Wonka factory. and his chocolate <laughs> factory. <laughs> <laughs> factory. Wow. I yeah, mean, it's yeah. a little bit fizz, isn't it? Again. James Thomas, this, that's the word I was looking for. Fizz. Mm. Slightly better with the fat switch out on that one. You can hear it's got that. It's not bad. Say I dislike it. No, you know, it's a it's different like, sound, isn't it's, it? It is a little bit uh, raspy at the top yeah. end. But that I might mean, be, as I said, it might be the speakers. It could be a mix, because again, it's, we're not using an expensive speaker cabinet no. or any of that stuff. I got, I, it's, in, it's very impressive. I'm interested, the tone cut control at the end here oh God. Is, uh, is exactly that. So the more you turn it up, the more treble is removed. Yeah. So is that like, like a box? Like a box, yeah. yeah. Box, box. Um, but let, let's go back to the clean channel. I just want to see what happens when I put some pedals on it. Click. So. Here's a Durple with the gain of 12. Oh, hello. Um, there's a lot of volume in the Durple. That's good. That's, That's blues, man, and the double.
It takes some good pedals, that. It takes some good pedals. It takes um, pedals good. Gets that was little, <laughs> it does get a little. It does get a little hot. I must admit, it's Is it? it's uh, no right. So right above the the, the valves, well, you know, where it's not that. vented. So if you're yeah, hungry, so, you have a you have a yeah. Frankfurt, a sausage, yeah, well, and an egg. Could you fry an egg on that? Yeah, I tell you, it's just too hot to touch. That's for sure. So oh, no, it's not. Look. Now your skin peels off. No, man, off, I'm, I'm good with hot stuff. Right. Okay, well, it was it was hot. I thought it was hot, but... Yeah, but, I mean, I you, are also, uh, <laughs> you also wear a small watch, so, you know. <laughs> um, you I don't, don't know that there's much else to really tell you about Not these, really. other than... Let's get hot. Ah! No, I'm kidding. It's, it's, no, it's, it's just phenomenal value, yeah. isn't it? It's crazy. Well, they look great as well. I like yeah. the look at them. I mean, now all the fingerprints on there. Yeah, that's true. They're a bit that's the problem, to fingerprints, it? aren't they? That's... Yeah. Uh, just wipe those off so that when we... In fact, if you buy a, a Bouguera V a T50 from here that's covered in fingerprints, they're probably mine and Pete's. I apologise yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, there we are. Links below to where you can go and find one. So if you are in need of a, a, a groovy sounding little tube amplifier and you've already got a speaker, um, you don't want to spend too much money, boosh. 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 Bosh. Bosh. That was what I meant. Like and subscribe, please. Yes. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you later. <laughs>